So hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a project which is based on Node.js and the topic of the project is content management system. So without much delay, we'll be looking at the requirements first. First, we require a text editor where we are going to write our code, where we are going to check what our code basically looks like and how does it matter when we move to the web page. So we have used your VS code. You may use any text editor as per your choice. Then we require an operating system. Again, uh, you, you can use any operating system as per your choice. But I have used here Windows 10 operating system. And depending on your convenience, depending on your laptop, depending on what you intend to do, the operating system is uh, quite viable. This project is based on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js and Express.js of course. The requirement analysis of this project includes HTML files, CSS files, JS files and Bootstrap. First, what we are going to do, we are going to have a look at the project. So this is what our CMS looks like, that is Content Management System. I am signed in as Simran right here. Let me log out. So, logged out. Let us log in. So this is my account, Simran, and I've given a password. When I submit, I can have a new post right here. Let me have the title, my best friend. Uh, let me put an image link. Uh, let me put a best friend image. Best friend image. Okay, this one looks quite good. Here, it's from Pinterest, okay? No matter. Uh, let me copy it, paste. Here. Paste it. What is content? Best friends are the best gifts of God. Okay. Now, submit. Got it? Now, there's something wrong with this. My... I guess there is something wrong with the internet connection. Okay, no worries. So I have the date given here by Simran and best friend at the best gifts of God. When you read more, I can also something wrong with the image. No worries. I think it's the internet which is causing effect. I can put some uh, this also. What do you call? Let me say same comment. What is the comment? Here, yeah. great content submit so see so here i have given a like a vlog and someone have given me a comment here great comment you can add new comments also in the blog section you can see what blogs i have you can log out you can add a new post and we can have the content contact us page and about us page as well so let's have a look at the code then okay let me just See, it's running. Okay, I have ran the project before. How did I run? I went into my directory. Then I wrote npm install. After installing what I wrote? Node app.js. So, let us see. First, a readme. It's a simple blogging CMS in Node.js. It's a very lightweight and simple content management system which is created with Node.js and it can be easily reused in other projects also. What Features we have, we can add deleted modify post, add deleted modify comments. It's a material UI design and we have user authentication that is a login and sign in. How do you run the application? Clone the project from our GitHub link, run the npm install and then run node app.js. Okay, let's see what is this app.js. We have been like speaking about app.js, app.js, app.js. What exactly is app.js? So first we have this variable express and we have required express because here express will be required express.js app is equal to the express function is called the body parser uh, we have required the body parser for mongoose we have the mongoose what's mongoose uh, that mongodb if you know the database part for method overdrive we have method overdrive requirement then for index root we have roots index what do you mean by this roots index like that roots slash index under the roots, you have the index.js. It means that. Okay. Next. 
we have the comment route, post route, or authentication. These are the basically the routes that means the path. Then we have the passport, the local strategy, passport local mongoose, user, and flash. We'll be seeing each and every part when we'll move towards that each and every file. Then we have the method function called and the body parser extended is true. Then we have used flash here. Then this is basically a um, session express session, the authentication part, not non of our use. Then we have here the initialization and the session of the passport. We have used the uh, app.use we have used here. Then here we have the request, re response and next. These three parameters are inside the function where we have if there is an error, then we have error. If the there is a success response, we have success or else we are going to the next. next. This is the authentication part. Then here we have used the index root, post root, comment root and authentication root. And passwords are also checked. And the server will be running at port 3000. Okay. Uh, if you did not notice, we are running it on local 3000. Have a look. Okay. Then here. Okay. Now let's move to the roots. We have been uh, modeling about the roots. I've been thinking about the roots. Let's go to index.js. Here we have again a requirement of express is there. Router uh, requirement is there. Then again we have the request and response called. And in the console.log we have uh, if the request is authenticated, we have to render index. Okay. In the comment.js, what is the comment part? I showed you while we were uh, having a look at the project. This part. Uh, here, this one, my best friend, and more this comment, this comment section. Now we are going to see that. So we are required express, then router, then post is there, then comment is there, and authentication is there. So here, what we have done, we have checked if there is an error. Then the console dot log. What's console? Do you know? If you do not, know, I'll show you the console as well. Just a minute. Yes, here. This is the console part. Here. You can write console.log, whatever you will write, it will be shown in the console. Okay. That is a debug part. Console is a terminal as well. Okay. Then you got to know if uh, if the user which you need to find, uh, suppose you have entered wrong credentials for a particular user. So that user is not found. So it, say, it says error finding the user. Then if the user is found, you can like comment, you can put your um, views on that, you can put your food feedback, constructive, negative feedback can be put. Then uh, here, if the error is there, it says console.log, the error will be displayed or else the message, whatever comment is there, that will be displayed. So you can edit the comment, you can modify the comment as well, you can delete the comment as well. Suppose here, while I was working on it, I want to edit the comment. So I can, yeah, here great content, not great, uh, absurd content because everyone knows that yeah best friend of the best book of god you're not telling something which is new to me so i can edit also i can delete the comment also delete it okay so that's what this part of the code shows okay how to delete then we have export now let's move to the blog dot just what's the blog blog is this particular thing which we have written this is our blog okay there's something wrong with the image. I think there's a network problem from my side. It should work fine. Okay. No issues. Image, you saw that the image is loaded, right? So no issues. Then we have required express. Then router is there. Then we have the post authentication got. Then here we're going to get the data from the database and you have to send it to the block page template. Again, we have the function error and posts. If there is some error, it says some error occurred or else the post will be displayed. These are the basically the routes for our blog app. We have rendered the roots. This was the incoming details. I'm sorry about the spelling. We have saved the incoming details to the database to redirect to the blog because the data. See, why it is saved? How will I know? Because see, this I created in front of you, right? But this I created yesterday when I was experimenting with it. This I created yesterday. What? Let's add a comment. So comment. What? nonsense is this okay it's very negative so i have added what nonsense is this so basically this is was on tuesday march 19 so it's just it saved somewhere right so this is what then uh to show the root like uh, this shows the root 
like from where our uh, the server is running what if we have some errors if the blog is displayed or not the uh, like the url part this is the edit part where we are going to edit our blogs again you can edit you can do anything you can put the image yeah the image part is here so we can put images we can return the data we can return the params then here we have if some errors will be occurs directly it will be shown under the screen okay that is error authentication part what is authentication sign up and login whatever credentials you have given that needs to be checked when you are logging in into the system suppose you have given the password at simran you cannot write sim you won't be able to access the system right so that's what is here so the password uh, etc is required first we have given it to the different stuff then we are checking the authentication if there is some error it shows console.log error then uh, if there is some uh, authentication problem it redirects directly and here if we have a success then it's redirected to the page and it's failure then you are re re redirected to login again then uh, we have the function render function the logout if there is some error we are logging out from the system and if the success there is success then it's redirected first got it now let's have a look at the models here these are the comments we have given the comment as string obviously whatever comment you will have you will have it as string in the post again you will have it as string the user and comments will be string and in uh, the user.js again we are linking it to the schema the database the mongoose database what is the mongodb so i hope you understood the working of this code and let's do one thing let's log out and let's log in again uh, let's sign up because you have not seen na? so this is my name okay let's submit okay let's now log in okay new account created see signed is it similar but understood so this was the end of it i hope you like this project for more interesting project ideas stay tuned to this channel thank you and have a great day